AP automation, invoice automation, accounts payable invoice automation, accounts payable automation. What's the difference? It's enough to make your head spin. Stick around while I try and explain the differences. Welcome to Accounts Payable Soundbites, the program where we share tips and explain simple and complex accounts payable issues in short, concise soundbites. So we started off with invoice automation, which was exactly what it sounded like, automating the process, the processing of an invoice. Then we had accounts payable automation, and that typically included the whole piece, not only the invoice processing, but the payment piece as well, and sometimes, but not always, the master vendor file. So it's not clear. And now we have these vendor portals, which to be honest, a lot of the supply community is not happy about because they have to kind of deliver their own invoices. These portals are self-service, which is a great joy, if you will, to the accounts payable side of things, but on the AR side, not so important. So a whole bunch of different products uh, going after the same market, all of which have different components. And you can't just assume because something says invoice automation or accounts payable automation that you know what it is. So I'm sure you're getting at the fact that you're going to basically have to ask each solution provider what is included and make sure that you understand. Now, before I discuss one really important issue that we all need to be aware of before purchasing an automation solution, regardless of which type it is, I would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell at the top to be notified of new videos, which we post two or three times a week. Okay, so all these different titles for products that are similar, but not necessarily the same. So when you go forward, regardless of what the solution provider is calling the solution, you need to make sure you understand exactly what's included, what processes are included, what you're still going to have to do manually and what's included. And that way you'll be comparing apples and apples and you'll be getting the same functionality. There's no generic model, unfortunately. Now, I promised you the one thing that I wanted to make you aware of before we moved on. If you're getting one of these end-to-end -end solutions, which is fine, a lot of them are really nifty, make sure that you ask the solution provider whether or not all payment options are included or they push the vendors to accept card payments. Because if card payments are the preferred solution and there's a big push towards it, you may find that you have some very unhappy suppliers. And of course, that's not the outcome that you were hoping for. So just focus on, yes, it includes the payment piece and does it include checks, ACH, Y transfers, whatever you're interested in, or is it simply just a card solution? By the way, if you like this episode, you might also like our episode on invoice automation surprises. It's number 79 and a link will appear to the left shortly. As always, we really appreciate those thumbs up and shares.